Hey Wired to Fish fans, Mike Iaconelli here. We want to talk to you today about a way to catch fish during the post-spawn. And the post-spawn can be a super tough time. Uh, you know, the fish come off the beds, they're not interested in eating, especially the males, they're guarding the fry. You know, they've, they've still got a job to do and they can be real tricky to catch. And I want to talk to you about a technique that I call a French fry, a fishing a weightless French fry for those fish. You know, I got a chance to work with Berkeley Havoc and we designed this bait called a backslide and it's the perfect bait to catch those shallow fry garters during the post spawn. You know, if you look at the bait, it's real simple. It's just a stubby little uh, four and a quarter inch French fry style lure. And if you look at it, it's got a rounded side, it's got a really flat side, and then it's just got these little tiny appendages uh, on the front and on the body. Just these little tiny arms. And it's a real simple rigging method with this bait. We're gonna get a one aught or two aught light wire VMC hook. That's really important. You don't wanna upsize the hook. It's a one or a two aught light wire hook. And we're just gonna Texas rig this bait. And we're gonna do it from the skinny end, which is the nose of the bait. And when we Texas rig it, we wanna make sure that the flat side of that French fry, that flat side is facing down. That's real important. So we're gonna Texas rig it on that one or two out light wire hook. We're gonna have that flat side down. And that's it. We wanna make sure that bait is nice and straight. And that's it, that's it with the rigging. But here's the magic in this technique. If you take a really close look at this bait, if I kinda of hold it up to the sun, you'll be able to see it, that the back third of this bait is a little darker. And the reason for that is that back third has a really heavy salt content. And you can feel it, it's real hard back there, it's all salt. And the first three quarters of that bait, no salt whatsoever. So this is extremely light plastic and then extremely heavy in the back. And when we fish this bait on semi-slack line, when we throw it around those post-spawn fry garters, the bait is actually gonna glide backwards. Perfect bait, zero to 10 foot of water post-spawn for those fry garters, the female still in the shallows, perfect scenario. And when you get a little bit of wind, if that wind starts blowing, it's blowing 10, 15, 20, and you're still up there catching them, don't be afraid to add just a little finishing nail. And, and when that wind is calm to moderate, I fish it right out of the bag. But when that wind starts blowing and it becomes an issue, just get a little nail, a little finishing nail, and just jam it right in the tail. Just add a little bit more weight to where that heavy salt's at. And you're gonna watch that bait glide backwards. The most important thing on the retrieve, let it fall on semi-slack line. When you do that, the bait's gonna actually glide backwards, cast it in front of those pods of fry, let it glide backwards in the face of those fish, and it's gonna drive them nuts. Listen to me, if you like post-spawn fishing, if you're having a tough time catching fry garters, Try that French fry, try that weighted French fry, let it glide backwards, and you're gonna catch more fish. Mike Iaconelli, Post Spawn Fish for Wired to Fish.